The Cayenne Coupe's newest trim adds extra spice to the German brand's midsize SUV. Porsche finally pulls the wraps off of its track-oriented Cayenne, the Turbo GT. Limited to the slinkier Cayenne Coupe body style, sorry Cayenne SUV fans, the 2022 Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT Coupe joins a long line of driver-focused GT-badged Porsches, including the 911 GT3 and 718 Cayman GT4. At first glance, the Cayenne Turbo GT looks much like its lesser turbo stablemate. Those with sharp eyes, however, will note a number of small styling enhancements, such as a distinct front fascia with bigger side air intakes and a more prominent front lip, black fender arches, a set of gorgeous 22-inch gold wheels, and updates to the SUV's rear wings, with the upper hatch-mounted unit welcoming carbon fiber side plates and the larger adaptive spoiler, that resides just below the rear window glass, adding a 2-inch tall gurney flap. Additionally, the Turbo GT sits approximately 0.7 inch lower than the run-of-the-mill Cayenne Turbo Coupe. Powerful Porsche. Porsche's performance tweaks to the Cayenne Turbo GT extend beyond its ride height reduction. Notably, the German brand thoroughly reworked its twin turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 for Turbo GT duty, fitting the big engine with the likes of a trim-specific crankshaft, timing chain, pistons, and connecting rods. As a result, the flagship Cayenne model packs a 631 HP punch, 90 more than the standard Cayenne Turbo, but 39 fewer horses than the gasoline-electric Cayenne Turbo SE Hybrid. Nevertheless, the all-wheel-drive Turbo GT's 626 pound-feet of torque, 59 pound-feet more than the Turbo, and, even quicker shifting, 8-speed automatic transmission allow this powerful Porsche to push its way from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a manufacturer estimated 3.1 seconds, or 0.6 and 0.5 second quicker than its Turbo and Turbo SE hybrid siblings. Given we managed to hit the mile a minute mark in a Cayenne Turbo Coupe in 3.2 seconds, we wager the Turbo GT ought to trot to 60 miles per hour in well under 3.0 seconds in our hands. Keep flat footing the Turbo GT's right pedal and Porsche claims its sportiest Cayenne model crosses the quarter mile in 11.6 seconds. A water-cooled transfer case ensures the Turbo GT's drivetrain remains reasonably cool, even with a hot shoe at the helm, while a specially developed center-mounted titanium exhaust system provides the quickest Cayenne model with a distinct growl. Of course, taking the record in the SUV, off-road vehicle, van, pickup category at the Nürburgring Nordschleif requires more than a powerful powertrain, which is why Porsche also fiddled with the Cayenne Coupe's lateral dynamics to make it worthy of the Turbo GT nomenclature. Retuned dampers, steering bits, including the SUV's rear axle unit, and an air suspension that's up to 15% stiffer relative to that of the Cayenne Turbo complement the likes of a tweaked torque vectoring rear end. 1.0-inch wider front wheels, and increased negative camber to make the most of the Turbo GT's Pirelli P0 Corsa's available grip. Stopping power, meanwhile, comes courtesy of 17.3-inch front and 16.1-inch rear rotors. Standard yellow painted calipers denote the fact the Turbo GT's brakes are of the carbon ceramic variety, although Porsche notes black painted binders are also available. Spicy inside. Like its exterior, the Turbo GT's interior subtly separates itself from the typical Cayenne herd. Both the front buckets and two across rear bench sport a Turbo GT-specific seat pattern, as well as faux suede padding at the center on the seat's backs and bottoms, contrasting gold or gray stitching, and embossed headrests. A yellow marker at the top of the steering wheel's rims further distinguishes the Turbo GT's cabin. With a starting price of $182,150, the 2022 Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT Coupe stickers for $47,300 more than its respective Cayenne Turbo Coupe kin, and $13,000 more than a Cayenne Turbo SE Hybrid Coupe. Then again, no one buys one of Porsche's GT-badged models to save a few bucks. Instead, buyers drop the extra coin to relish in the sheer joy of driving such a focused machine. No doubt. The Cayenne Turbo GT will maintain the behind-the-wheel thrills of other Porsche GT models when it reaches our shores in early 2022. Whether or not purists take to the first-ever GT SUV is almost beside the point. Fast SUVs are fast becoming a thing, and Porsche is smart to chase the market there while showing its performance prowess. Based on the Cayenne Turbo Coupe, 
The new Turbo GT packs a powerful V8 engine, a quick shifting transmission, and a bunch of enhancements that make it Porsche's fastest ever production Cayenne. Just look at the numbers, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds, quarter mile runs in 11.6 seconds, a 186 mph top speed, and a Nürburgring lap time of 7 minutes, 38.9 seconds. The latter bested the previous, ring record for SUVs, held by Audi's RSQ8, by 3.33 seconds, but the eye-popping figures are only one side of the story. You don't need a monster racetrack to enjoy it, because the 2022 Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT shines and gets your attention just as well on flowing canyon roads, as its inspired performance injects you with adrenaline. The heart and soul. The 2022 Porsche Cayenne GT's 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 takes center stage with its 631 horsepower and 626 pound-feet of torque. While these numbers don't match the Cayenne Turbo SE hybrids, make no mistake, the Turbo GT is Porsche's most performance-oriented SUV. In this case, Porsche's much-lauded GT team did not help with the car's development, but the Turbo GT proves its point all the same. Besides the powerful engine, Porsche gave the SUV several enhancements to make it drive even more like a sports car. The air suspension is 15% stiffer compared to the Cayenne Turbo, with the system adjusted to handle the extra power. The power steering setup and rear axle steering are also retuned, and Porsche engineers said they were overall able to reduce body roll and increase the car's precision in corners. The Cayenne Turbo GT's 22-inch Pirelli P0 Casa tires were developed for the Turbo GT, and its carbon ceramic brakes, distinguished by their yellow calipers, measure a massive 17.3 inches in the front and 16.1 inches back. The Cayenne Turbo GT is also 0.7 inch lower than the Cayenne Turbo Coupe, and its all-wheel drive system includes a water-cooled transfer case to support the model's ultra-high performance. Porsche thankfully also focused on reducing weight. The titanium sport exhaust and the SUV's wheels, for example, shaved some load. Other bits exclusive to the Turbo GT include a carbon fiber roof, a unique front fascia with larger air intakes, a center exhaust pipe, and an awesome-looking carbon fiber fixed rear spoiler. How does the Cayenne Turbo GT drive? Angeles Crest Highway north of Los Angeles is one of our favorite roads on the planet. Not only is it on our backyard, it's also one of the best roads on which to exercise a great car, period. It was on this turf where the Cayenne Coupe Turbo beat the Mercedes-AMG GLE 63S, Maserati Levante Trofeo, and BMW X3M and X6M for a ticket to last year's Motor Trend Best Drivers Car Competition. It's a logical place to try out this new model, in other words. While the 2022 Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT's power figures raise eyebrows, its handling and steering impressed us the most. In every corner, the Cayenne Turbo GT felt balanced and stable. It rotated nicely on the twisty roads while maintaining a composed posture. What's even more impressive is the degree of confidence you feel behind the wheel. The GT does everything so well, it encourages you to try harder for the next corner, braking later and carrying more momentum through to the exits. We'll remember the time we spent in this vehicle on Angeles Crest as nothing but 66 miles of worth of ecstasy. Like in a sports car, the GT suspension is calibrated so you feel almost every bump or rut. Its tires feel like tar, delivering massive traction, and its steering is as accurate as you'll find in an SUV, or in virtually any vehicle. Simply aim the steering wheel's yellow center stripe in the right direction, and you probably won't have to move your hands again. The steering's stiff overall feeling is reminiscent of a 911 Turbo S then there is the lightning-fast transmission and the Turbo GT's power delivery. The transmission is so quick and so well calibrated, you pretty much don't need to ever use the paddle shifters for any reason other than you just enjoy doing so. Step on the throttle and you feel the torque get to the pavement with linearity and seemingly endless push. The experience makes you feel like a kid riding an infinite sugar rush. The ride can feel a bit harsh on city streets, thanks to the wheels and tires and stiffer suspension. You'll also note that these tires are loud. Another thing to note, the loud exhaust note, even when the sport exhaust is switched on, doesn't make it into the cabin as much as we'd like. Stand outside, though, and the roar is impressive. Step inside. A sea of Alcantara is probably the first thing you'll notice once onboard the 2022 Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT. 
From the sport seats to the door panels to the steering wheel, the GT is covered in the suede-like material. Additionally, the bronze-like seat belts, seat inserts, and contrast stitching match the neodyme wheels and distinguish the Turbo GT from other Cayenne cabins. Black or red leather is available as an option. Also helping to differentiate this version from other Cayennes are Turbo GT logos throughout the cabin, a red button on the drive mode selector, and the lack of metal around the air vents. Everything else, however, is very similar to the Cayenne Coupe, including the center console's sporty handlebars. People with Android phones will be delighted to know Porsche's new infotainment system, which arrives in the Cayenne Turbo GT, is now compatible with Android Auto. Other important updates include the integration of Apple Music and Apple Podcasts into the infotainment system itself, and the arrival of over-the-air updates. The final word. It's no surprise the 2022 Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT is fast, fun, and agile, words we've used to describe other Porsches in the past. The way it accelerates and brakes, combined with its magnificent grip and its lack of significant body roll, make this Cayenne worthy of the GT badge. Being the quickest SUV around Nürburgring is one thing, but delivering joy, confidence, adrenaline, and a raucous good time on real-world roads is what makes the Cayenne Turbo GT really stand out as special.